240 miles away. In Strood, Kent, just outside the M25, is a battalion of mock moving monsters, all tooled up and ready to rumble! We can certainly do that. We have uh, up to 22 metre long reach excavators. HE Services specialises in self drive and operated plant hire for anyone who needs some mechanical muscle. We'll get that out for you. Great stuff. Thanks for the call. Take care. Wait. Lucky Trucker Mark is on his way to the yard to find out what ferocious freight is on the job sheet today. I don't think I could stand in a warehouse or a factory, someone breathing down my neck, telling me what I've got to do and what have you. I'll get out in the truck and it's like I'm my own boss. It's freedom. Mark has clocked up two decades of driving experience, but he's only been hauling these hardcore horrors for nine months. I've never done plant until I've started here, but this was a challenge, and I like a challenge. Good news for Mark. His opponent today will be sure to test his metal. The Komatsu Power Crawler 360LC. 260 thoroughbreds straining on the reins. Eight metres of devilish digging depth. At 36 tonnes, this lazy warmonger weighs the same as 7,000 angry tomcats. <laughs> but Mark plans to have his kitten purring peacefully in no time. When I have jobs like this, I'm happy. I, get, I have a good day. Trailer ready. He gets to grips with the hydraulic harbinger of eight. I like driving the truck but I like moving the uh, excavators around. The machine begins its march. The boom arm is manoeuvred clear by Mark. Moving it out of the way so we don't hit the cab. The tracks and trailer are perfectly in line as the excavator begins to climb. All we've got to do now is get it to the straight middle of the trailer. and then we'll be able to train a Dan. The 36-tonne shipment settles dead centre on the bed. It's the perfect pickup. Now the demon needs to be detained for delivery. These are the shackles, the chains. A look on to these. Mark's taking no prisoners with his choice of chains. That's me uh, tensioner. There you are. 10 ton tensioners, so nice and strong to hold all the machine onto the trailer. So we're going to be driving nice and slow with it, so there's going to be no movement. Uh, sit on there quite nicely now. Use that like a 36 ton machine. We use four 10 ton chains and four 10 ton tensioners on it. So we've got 40 ton pulling a whole lot down. Right, we're looking good. We'll get the trailer closed up now. And we'll think about making the machine a bit more visible to everyone. The delivery is going like a dream. We're looking good. Mark should be done and dusted in double quick time. Beacons are flashing, so we're all good. We're good to go. You right, mate? Coming up, Mark is hoping slow and steady wins the race. We've still got to wait. We're not out in the woods yet. We're only going down to the next barrier now. We could be sitting there for another 20 minutes, half an hour. And the pressure's on JB as the super truck season starts with a bang. Here we go then. First of three races today for the British Truck Racing Championship here on the Bram Tap GP circuit. Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to this.
Kent. En route to the Dartford Tunnel is this massive monster. A 36-ton excavator that's going out on hire. King of the Load Mark has made it to the motorway. We're going to have a nice run through Cuxton, Snodland, down to the M20, and then we can run up the M20 to the M25, all the way to tunnel control. Starting in Stroud, Mark's manoeuvres will take him under the Thames, through the Dartford Tunnel, and up to King's Lynn in Norfolk, before returning home to HQ. It's a 240-mile round trip. And with no support vehicle, keeping his cabin cargo safe en route is no easy task. I'll drive off my mirrors. I spend more time looking in my mirrors than what I will do going forwards. I've got to be aware of what's happening behind me, what's coming down the side of me. If I need to move, that way I know exactly what's there and whether I can go or not. So far, the roads are flowing freely, but coming up is a notorious pinch point, the Dartford Tunnel. And when the highways agents are ready to shut the tunnel down, we'll have an escort through the tunnel. So we'll have the tunnel all to ourselves. It sounds too good to be true, and often is. I'll turn up there one day and We'd be through within five minutes. Another day, I could sit there for 45 minutes to an hour. Um, it depends on how busy they are. Hopefully, they got their finger on the ball today. I don't want to be sitting there too long. It's nearly the weekend. Like every haulage hero, Mark deserves a bit of me time. I'll have a couple of beers Friday night. And then weekend, it's going to be sit down, chill out, and a bit of my PS5. Gran Turismo and FIFA. Wife's working all weekend. All to myself. At this rate, he could be looking at an early finish as he gets the digger to Dartford without any delays. Get over the roundabout into tunnel control, and then we can book in and wait for a slot to run through the Dartford tunnel. With other traffic on the road, the three and a half metre wide load is too much for the tunnel to take. So to fit Mark in means closing down the carriageway. That's it, we'll park up here. Go and get our ticket and then hopefully we can get ourselves through the tunnel. Oh, yeah. After the traffic's been brought to a standstill, Mark will be escorted down by the Highways Agency. I'm sat here for up to an hour before now. There are times I can go through five, ten minutes. Other times I've, I've sat here for up to an hour waiting to go through. This time, he doesn't have to wait long before getting permission to proceed. Uh, we ain't been too bad, actually. We've only been about ten minutes. But... We've still got to wait. We're not out of the woods yet. We're only going down to the next barrier now. We could be sitting there for another 20 minutes, half an hour. But there's more good news waiting for Mark and his mega machine as he's ushered straight through. They're on full today. They're doing well. Because of our whip, we just put the middle of the lorry on the white line, take both lanes and trundle through. The white boy descends deep underground, marshalled at the rear by the escort vehicle. Transporting his load through that tight tunnel is no trouble for experienced trucker Mark. Thames safely traversed, the escort peels off, leaving the excavator with nothing but open road ahead. 150 miles away, heading north to Norfolk. Nothing stopping Hero Hollier Mark from putting in a quick time on the tarmac. Nice run up into Kings Lynn. A few country lanes on the way, so uh, it's going to get a little bit tight. Should be interesting. 
with a hassle-free haul. He makes up the miles in trucking good time. I've had a good journey, actually. It's been pretty good. It's been uh, a nice, comfortable run today. So far, delivery of the colossal cargo has got like clockwork. Turn right at the traffic light. And uh, we should find a place just up the road. If he can avoid any hold-ups or mishaps, Mark's weekend could start even earlier than expected. For that to happen, first, he needs to get the beast backed in to the building site. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull forward, position myself, and then back it around that corner. Mark takes the tractor past the turning before taking the trailer into a lane opposite. He's now got the perfect angle for accessing the yard. He pushes the payload forward. It's a narrow entrance for squeezing a three and a half meter wide load. But Mark is on his mirrors. He's looking good. With his truck safely parked up. I'll have that back. He's now only focused on his freight. The fun part is getting the machine here exactly how it left the yard and getting it off the trailer. Now, and it's a job well done. It's a sense of pride. Ramp deployed. The super-sized shipment is freed from its shackles. I haven't got time for lunch. It'll be a takeaway when I get home tonight. You'd dig a serious hole with that in the beach, wouldn't you? The demon's now primed for its put-down. The power crawler powers forward. Down the ramp and into the mud. The beast is back where it belongs. Job's good and that's it. Hold me chains away and we're ready to go. It's been a textbook touchdown. Happy with that. Decent run up here. Nice offload. Ready to go. So yeah, very good. With any luck. Mark should complete his 240-mile circuit back to base in record time. Coming up... Straight on at Graham Hill Bend. Yeah. 150 miles away, heading north to Norfolk. Nothing stopping Hero Holly and Mark from putting in a quick time on the tarmac. Nice run up into Kings Lynn. A few country lanes on the way, so uh, it's going to get a little bit tight. Should be interesting. With a hassle free haul, he makes up the miles in trucking good time. I've had a good journey, actually. It's been pretty good. It's been uh, a nice, comfortable run today. So far, delivery of the colossal cargo has got like clockwork. Turn right at the traffic light, and uh, we should find a place just up the road. If he can avoid any hold-ups or mishaps, Mark's weekend could start even earlier than expected. For that to happen, first, he needs to get the beast backed in to the building site. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull forward, position myself, and then back it around that corner. Mark takes the tractor past the turning before taking the trailer into a lane opposite. He's now got the perfect angle for accessing the yard. He pushes the payload forward. It's a narrow entrance for squeezing a three and a half metre wide load. But Mark is on his mirrors. And he's looking good. With his truck safely parked up. 
I'll have that back. He's now only focused on his freight. The fun part is getting the machine here exactly how it left the yard and getting it off the trailer. Now, and it's a job well done. It's a sense of pride. Ramp deployed. The supersized shipment is freed from its shackles. I haven't got time for lunch. It'll be a takeaway when I get home tonight. You dig a serious hole with that in the beach, won't you? The demon's now primed for its put down. The power crawler powers forward. Down the ramp and into the mud. The beast is back where it belongs. Job's good and that's it. Pull me chains away and we're ready to go. It's been a textbook touchdown. Happy with that. Decent run up here. Nice offload. Ready to go. So yeah, very good. With any luck. Mark should complete his 240-mile circuit back to base in record time.